Now, setting up our old form data, so the data that we want to persist is actually really straightforward. We just need to create one piece of middleware for this, add it to our application, and we can then just start to output on our form all of the persistent data. So to do this, of course, we'll start by just creating some new middleware. So I'm going to create a new file in here, of course, and I'm going to call this old input middleware. Again, choose a name that you think is appropriate. And I can pretty much copy this middleware over because we don't want to hear, have to keep writing out this invoke method. So let's paste this in and let's just change the name. So old input middleware. So let's get rid of this because we don't need this, but we obviously do need to call our next middleware. And inside of here, what do we want to do? Well, you may have worked out that we want to set this as a global within our template so we can access the old data. But where do we get this data from? Well, of course, what's actually happening is we have our request object in here. So we can take the parameters that we've submitted from the form and we can apply them to a global inside of our templates. So we do a similar thing. We say this container view get environment set global. We're going to set this as old, so that will be the key. And here we're going to set a session that we haven't quite set yet, and this is old. So now we're sharing this old data with our view, but we're not actually setting this old data. We're going to do this down here. So let's do this now. like so. And let's just fix up this spelling mistake just there. Now you might be wondering, well, why are we setting it into the container before it actually is being set here? Well, think about the way this works because it's old data. Let's say we hit our application for the first time. What we don't want to do is set our request here and then share it with our view. What we want to do is for the last request, this will be set in our session. And then for the next request, that old data will then be set into here. So for the first time round, this obviously uh, won't have any data in, but the next time round will have old data. So it will be set here. And then any more will just keep getting set over and over again. So hopefully that makes sense. But of course, feel free to change this around and see how things change for you. OK, so now that we've got our middleware set up, we obviously need to attach it. So let's do a similar thing that we did here. And we'll just say old input middleware. Perfect. So now we can start to test this out. We know that the key is old and we know that this is going to be an array. Remember, get params returns us an array of all of our request data, anything we submitted in a form or in the query string. So now over in our view, we can, let's say for the email, set a value on here. We know that this will give you a default value. And of course, the method name here, I just need to correct. This should be add global. So let's refresh and there we go. So we know that this value property within HTML sets this in for us. So all we need to do then is say old dot email, simple as that. And now, when we go ahead and say enter an email address, but we don't enter any other data, we still see that email address, simple as that. And when we go ahead and sign up again, it just retains because we've got that data in there being passed through into our request and we can grab that and set it in the session. So now we can just do the same for the name and we are pretty much done. So let's go and just set a value on here. Of course, we want this to be old.name. So let's just test this out. Let's enter a name in here, hit sign up, and there we go. We don't want to persist the password. It's a bit odd. We don't want to keep it in the form. So we're just going to leave it as it is. But we're now persisting this data. So it's much better experience for the user.